To enable the AID noise, if you're not using an Octane camera, you want to bring up your live viewer, go to your Octane settings, go to camera imager, and then you'll see the denoiser tab, and you want to go ahead and click on enable denoising. If you are using a custom Octane camera, you want to make sure you go into the camera settings, go to camera imager, scroll down over here, you'll see AID noiser, and, and make sure that it's enabled. All right. So to actually see where the AI denoiser settings are, in your live viewer, you want to right click, go to toggle info, this is going to pop up and you'll see two new tabs that are visible now, the main beauty render, which is going to be reliant on the kernel settings over here, and then we've got the AI denoiser settings, which are obviously going to be related to your denoiser. Okay. From what I've noticed, if we basically increase the amount of max samples, we'll be giving the AI more information to process and work with, and that means we'll get a much more accurate result. And we can also increase the amount of denoiser samples, which is also going to give us a better result. Uh, the denoiser interval, I'm not 100% sure how that's working currently. So if you guys know how it's working, please comment below. And then the blend is going to allow us to basically blend between our standard main beauty render and the actual AI results. If we wanted to bring back some of that noise, we can do that. So the awesome thing about using the AID noiser means that you can get rid of noise in your image incredibly quickly. So you can see I can toggle between my main render and the AI result, which basically cleans up all of that noise for me. So this AID noiser basically analyzes the image, it fills in all of the information for you, and it completes the image for you, which is truly amazing. So I highly recommend that you guys go ahead and use the AID noiser, especially if you want to decrease your render times. Okay, and one last thing, if you guys want to actually save out this image, you just need to go to File and Save Render Passes as a PSD, so it will be exporting both of these render passes for you, and you are good to go.